finally, 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 of course, we are back with another Doug Mile video. Been a good long minute, though, of course, for me. I'm just doing, like, screen recordings, honestly, though, because I'm glad I took a break from it a lot. I didn't really record the last couple of days, and I'm glad, because the anniversary is finally cooled down, JP. It's finally over with, but never say never. Um, I'm going to do a full recap video for the anniversary. I'm just going to go over everything, um, like I usually do every year. Um, but yeah, of course, Bob was getting the, into the next segue there on next Dr. Fest unit. But I'll jump right here, so yeah, give me the next Dr. Fest unit for um, Global. Um, although this wasn't really like surprising or whatever, because last year around the time Google came out, he literally was taking up Cooler's time, time slot from last year, so now Google's kind of a year old JP. Then a Cooler and Beards were announced last year on the exact same day ish. Um, try to think of it. Um, Beerus actually was announced on the first, so of March. So we're gonna know the next Joker Fest unit. Things already March already, Jesus. Um I think February and January were really just going by really slowly. That's probably why I felt so like kinda of felt like this a little bit though. So yeah, I got a little bit hot so I got my fan under me. Might sound a little bit off for the video though, because I sound really different like when I'm recording though, so yeah. Um of course though, like I said though, um last year Beerus time slot was March first, so we're gonna definitely see that there. So yeah, um yeah, this was Doug and Fest teaser. I actually didn't actually didn't make them mean to make a video for it. I did not like I had time, but it's like uh dang I, when I figured it out I was like uh I'm not gonna have them for time unfortunately to upload it. So yeah, I had to kinda cut that a little bit. I had to cut the recording so I couldn't obviously do it though, so sadly, yeah. Uh, we got new um, awakenings for my face cam is bright as heck right now. Uh, we got new awakenings for um from the hero and villain extermination plan separately. We got two couple of new awakenings. We have a new hack jack right here. And of course we got a new weeks. Um they're getting their awakening not new, but they're pretty much old. And they, and if you've been playing since like day one, they've been uh, those events for like years now, so they'll have their awakenings for the first time. They actually go really good though, honestly. Like, Weast is actually really disgusting for a free play unit. Um it had just pretty simple to straight to the point though. Not that much ish when I first song came out. Cause again, I completely forgot about these guys. I saw the day I downloaded for these guys um, a couple of days ago. I was like, well, I forgot. So yeah, I kinda honestly I did forget it off to the top of my head. So yeah. Uh, this is a couple of day download we had a couple of days ago, and of course, um I, again, like I said, I didn't I meant to make a video on it, I completely forgot, I'm so sorry. But yeah, of course like global they would get the duck effect at the end of the month like JP against time to boost up. I remember back in the day we got part two, so we got like campaign I feel like almost every day, almost at the end of every week. For Globals are usually the beginning of the week. JP is kind of like weekend slash that as well, but more near the end or middle. Let's throw stuff in the middle of the week when they're, you know, you know, like you know for global the EZAs, traditional EZAs, they go a lot for JP, but for global we had to wait until we get like a week later to get it out too. Then the next of course, um like I said, um, the campaign right here. Glad the crisis protect the Earth campaign. Banner art right there looks really nice. Really, really, really good. Love how they had Gohan in there. So a lot of people are like, oh yeah, Gohan's gonna come back on the double rights banner again. Yeah, because we know we got a team battle for us. Gohan from not not this campaign, but probably you know the makeshift part two, you know, before saying that or whatever. They make like a mini little campaign because this it does a lot of people wait until March seventeenth, my birthday, of course. So it'd be cool. This is like a St. Patrick's Day celebration because you know Gohan's tag, Gojek's green. Green, red, Irish, you know, I, I just got that. I know he's running like a two act before he transforms. So yeah, look at buzz, special missions, typical stuff right there. Um, double quest, um, XP, this is actually really good though, so you can get those links up, get some good XP, rank up your account, get some good um, team costume. Um, Dragon Stone sales is up right now. Um, Bojack Banner should be up in a couple more hours, like three more hours at the time of recording, so 1.30 a.m. for me. So yeah, I live on like Eastern time, because I live on Eastern time. I live in the U.S., so I have that kind of time. Um, um, like I was saying, Bojack took a banner. Uh, we have Space Traveling Warriors banner. Everyone in the category is going to the time of Space Group, Brianne. Um, because, you know, Bane's love to go around the universe spraying of love. Topo, um, Jiren, all the Patrick Bros are going to be on there. They can literally go around the whole entire, you know, the whole entire universe, you know, defending their universe and stuff. Uh, Whis, Bottle, everybody on there. Beerus is going to be on there too. Um, um, Otakai's banner is going to be up again. This one was, this, this is where coolest time slot was last year. So we're going to see in the, again, the 16th, I believe. We got the day I downloaded for product, team product units, and we got the information like that day of, I believe. Then, of course, um, after that, uh, beforehand, I'm trying to think. After on the 17th, we got this one, we got BG Blinks for the next Doka Fest for JP. Um, we'll probably see something better for JP. I don't know. We're going to see like, the next Doka Fest for JP like, in, April, so, in March, so we're going to definitely see it. And I keep getting taped last day for February. So weird. Um, Bojax, um, ban um, you know, peel off show stuff. So basically, you can have tickets for the Doka Fest banner. Um, you can do some of the ticket picture of that banner and stuff like that. If you do stuff like that, you're like, if you're old, you already know about this stuff. Orbs has a couple of guys, and it's like, oh my gosh, so much here, but it's it's pretty okay. Um, of course, the new Doug Defense event is gonna be back up. It's gonna be up new here at Villain's Termination Plan Awakenings for Bojack and Hatchack, but uh, Hatchack, and of course, I said, oh my god, 
Hijack Luis is going to be up here as well. Um, Balthus can be reset again, so they go ahead and redo that. Like the surprises. Um, to I just was easy at coming back really soon, though, too. Um, they came out in December, I believe. Um, plus, on top of that, that's actually going to be really good because if, if, if you have not gotten them yet, they're really good. If you've done the event yet, you can do the keys because keys, with the keys event, those will come back. I think if the events come back once. So, for example, this event didn't come back, you know, it's not easy the first time, but it comes back the second time, that'll be a bit cool um, but that story event, um, all the movie story events, the 13 will be back up, to those, um, event will be back up as well, so you can, um, book away to him, get casserole, and go GZZA, I think that was in Bojack Celebration as well, they do tie into the same celebration, so that's gonna be really good, um, what's that here, movie bosses, can be, he's gonna be against movie bosses, and that's how the STR Gogeta was back then, of course it was black, but now, uh, yeah, you get, like, <laughs> the movie bosses is so good, but it's in school, yeah, I remember this, when this came out, it was pretty much a cakewalk, honestly. Really chill, limo can kind of hurt a little bit though because they're all replacements, but whatever. Easy A ticket on pack. Ego G is actually Easy A event. Um, this is all the blue Super Saiyan Goku, the tech and the HO one will be getting into Easy A's. The fun fact though, for Gobble, I actually did find these up really, really early beforehand. Um, I think when they first got the Easy A announcements back in what, like, no November? Because, yeah, this came out in November. Um, because I remember I was, it was Thanksgiving and I remember coming up here doing the video because, um, just because for, it was for. Bojack is over fest teaser and stuff like that. I don't think we have the Super Saiyan Blue because it's confirmed, but we got everything for Bojack in there. Um, I remember when I went over, when I, when I went over to Celebration Info, um, I did go over these guys. I remember, like, when I first saw these, like, these, I think Gobo had a couple campaigns. Up. I can't remember which campaign Gobo had up where he had all these gays. Maybe it was New Year's going on, something like that? I don't know. Um, I did find these up really, really early, just in case, of course. So now I haven't really done. So when I come out a couple, about a week this time, at the time of recording, boom. Literally next week, when I, next week, like time, like literally next week is time, I'm gonna, Monday time, to run, so, um, I have them ready, so yeah, boom, there you go. Um, what else down here? Kid Boots EZA, Physical Bros EZA, stuff we already seen, um, the Lord Suck event is coming back for his EZA, it makes sense, probably just time traveling lawyers. I thought they were going to bring back like a like a busy day, maybe they're going to bring back that every kind of celebration because these two are tied to that, and they kind of bring back every other event, but yeah, he doesn't end until like March 4th. All Bros events, Bros events, um, Gogeta's and Blue Goku's events, um, Bro by all Broly on floor, jeez. Yeah, basically all the movie events are coming back because Bojack and stuff like that makes sense. And with Battle Prep, we're getting Global Tournament, and the rest of the stuff, I think we already kind of know down here. Yeah, World Tournament, prizes, um, yeah, you know, Dragon Ball events, yeah. That's pretty much it though for the campaign, so but there's a lot to cover. There was a lot to cover in this campaign. Well, Tournament that's really good. Like I said, this is good when he's first fighting the Rip, 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 Rip Army Arc, when he starts to learn about them. This way he goes in that slow snow scene, which I actually do like. Um, yeah, again, I also have the last up until Saiyan Day, again, like 7th, 17th, birthday, <laughs> and that's mine. Um, we'll, we'll, I remember that for that last year, because I remember when I was like, hey, he left on my birthday. I, I was busy that day, so, I had a lot of stuff to do, we had a lot of Saiyan Day stuff, so yeah. Most stuff pretty much, honestly, pretty much, this is a lot in here to cover. Just a lot, a lot, a lot, and they were not holding back for the celebration, too. Yeah. Um, great stuff though, honestly, though, not a simple, I'm joking, there's a lot in here for global. Yeah, yeah, you know, when the first job, everybody's like, oh yeah, no content, but it's like, you realize, was interesting for Gogeta, we had a lot of content to do with this, we had a lot to do, so yeah. I know new story about Gogeta, because we have the Galactic one. We all think it's like, yeah, you can get revamped. No, it's not that little so yeah. Um, insane, insane celebration right there. Really insane. So yeah, that's the um, go for that. I know the new chain battle right here, they're gonna do like a magical part too, where they bring my Eloy Gohan or whatever. Um, this will be a chain battle, like right, like right now for times recording for Goku, so the chain battle up, but that's a whole one for Omega. We're gonna get this one in our magical part two, or they're gonna bring it up in like a week later or whatever. Oh yeah, part two, we're gonna have this, that, and you know, Goku has been doing that a lot recently lately, so I'm not gonna be shocked when we see this a couple more days. Space Traveling Warriors, of course, the project category. Terrifying Conquerors, which kind of some of these guys blend in a little bit, and Namekian says, just what well, we all know about that anyway. You already know I mean, it's okay, but of course, it's just they're mainly just using Bojack's team. So, yeah, if you want to get some of those Mechians and Bojack's going up, we might guess. I mean, I mean, for Bojack specifically, yeah, I mean, it should be really this one wants to be a lot more, have a lot more units and diversity, but in Mechians, it's like there's only like a couple of those, you only have a couple of those in the game, and everybody's and not everybody specifically is going to have to get into Bojack details. Really good unit, really good unit. Um, I thought he's pretty good. Again, a lot of people say he's the midway cooler, <laughs> midway cooler, but overall, though, pretty solid, pretty good, and stuff like that. Of course, like I said, if, even, even if he's a different great cooler, he actually still hits pretty hard. He's still good. You have sport, time travel for a little school, which I completely forgot about, which makes sense because you know he did. He didn't really travel through time, but he came back in life in this time period, I believe. So, again, that's how kind of time about travel, of course, you know, it's like. 
I think I don't want to say that's really manga spoilers, so I'm not going to say anything. Um, basically, yeah, like Goku, like, you know, travel through time, you know, like Bojack can't really travel, travel through time. I mean, technically, he's in the modern day, so he kind of came back in the modern day time, so it kind of makes sense. Why. So yeah, really good though, of course, and of course when he transforms, I feel like he's kind of like more Kepler, uh, unique game, specific, unique game with certain amount of keys there, for him to kind of do this and that, but all, again, like a little bit more extra hitting power, but overall, pretty good unit though, again, his third effect is really good, again, they purposely, purely, pur I make, it might make it better or bad, make, to make Super Saiyan Purple Juice better or good, because Kepler on the better is pretty okay, but um, yeah, stuff like that is actually really good. Not a lot of people got something for Bojack. I know Super Saiyan Bojack did hit number one, except I really want that. Bojack probably won't do it for Gobble, but they push that they might make a marriage bad on purpose overall. Because Bojack is really good. As long as he has no support for him, so I travel wars like these other units have been recently. Been doing it like all these high units big, giving buffs for the name, new category, you know, or order category spring now as well. She's pretty solid though as well, like I said. Um, really good though. I didn't even read that much into her like that, but again, she might be, be better on paper. But again, the more switch traveling warriors, warriors um base traveling warriors category units to have the purchase as well so let's see i mainly make mainly make a team around her and she does like that and peppy gals been pretty, pretty, pretty cool but again they all were fighting together against go on that doesn't make sense and stuff like that and all other deep fighters stuff that makes sense of course um the new weeks and of course hatch are really good though we actually really good he dodges he was the str weeks just a pretty good version of str weeks in my opinion really good of course all your health make it a threshold and hit himself defense i think almost every super attack he uh, gets i believe again and he's just really good overall i don't know what they did this guy his animation is actually really good for a family unit overall though really good for weeks though of course um hatch is pretty good as well again he's when we find pure high resistance could be really good It'd be cool to find the Mechians, but he did fight them, like, basically. He did fight, like, all the Z-Fires, Gohan, Trunks, Goku, Vegeta, and Piccolo at the time, and so on. I know there's, like, a 90s version of it that got really cast in the house, that's why the Hatchacks here. But, yeah, I know there's, like, a baby hatchacking heroes. There's another, like, modern hatchack. There's a lot of hatchacks they can kind of do. I don't know, Amazing Sentence is pretty okay. Fair and Fancy Baby Bob Boss is actually really good. Um, he's, he's really limited, he's really kind of limited because he categorizes, like, artificial life forms and, like, um, revenge and, like, um, Crossover, but overall though, could be probably really good unit for a more and longer one. When you um, you know, again, when he gets like a dog fest, <laughs> dog fest. I'm kidding. I'm I'm, I'm joking. He could go in the future. We don't know. But yeah, more of a free play, more solid or free play unit. But yeah, this card has been a game for a really long time. You can like one of the villain extermination plan units. But overall though, pretty okay for free play unit. I just put that to a category. I'll probably explain it a little bit more when it comes out. I mean, when it comes, it's already out. Like the days are already in the game for bubble. It'll probably go out like well, at one thirty when Project use a drug access play gig. Now a great power, it's great power again, way early for global. I'm um, not in this case, but yeah, again, Nappas, Vegeta, Zarbons, everybody, Geek, Force, Frieza, all of them on here, all the Chinese Saga units, like up to. No, because they always, they always travel over space. Kakamu, uh, they don't travel to time space. They go to the full tournament. Okay. They get lots of units, and this is Bojack Grand right here. Um, it is pretty okay though, again, like I said, it's nothing like, you know, oh my god, jaw dropping, but it's actually really good. So I'm getting Bojack around here, Go Hunt, but honestly, will be replaced. Replace, Bart will probably still be on here. Yeah, I feel like we could keep him. Andrew 13 definitely could be on here if it should go on, because mainly Andrew 13, I mean, mainly if it should go on, because he has not been back in global for like a really long time. If it should go on here because of him, and it makes him a lot better with each own rotation, so that's why he's probably here. It makes sense going as the main feature, you know, because, you know, he did fight go on and stuff like that, so it makes sense so why he's here. I don't really give a place out there. I could put LR Gohan on, on here and be like, okay, we're going to add another LR, another unit on here just for that. I don't know. I don't know who they're going to add. Anyway, I'm thinking if they could do Beerus or Cooler, because Cooler has been been back in a long time, they could probably put him on here. Otherwise, that, this probably would be probably was one of the best banners, probably maybe higher than this. Good good individual here, like I said. Lots of new awakenings for the Huron Villains from Nature Plans. Bojack coming up. Bojack inbound. <laughs> I just should say, oh, Bojangles inbound is coming. So, yeah, Bojack's inbound, of course, coming to Earth for global. Um, I mean, you know, coming like France, Germany, whatever. So, um, here I inbound on JP. He's gonna inbound his. Orderly Bojangles, Bulbary Biscuit ways onto your accounts. Yeah, see you guys there though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All cool jumping in now. Also, make sure to stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless all of you though, of course. Every last one of you, even if you're out in a different galaxy or whatever, if you're a space traveling warrior. So, yeah, um, also make sure, um, you know, wear a mask if you're planning to go out. Um, all the time, make sure just always make sure. Um, have the, some on deck in your pocket or you know, fill in toilet paper if you need to. So, what you gotta think about this campaign? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, I think it's pretty good though. There's a lot to do in this campaign. Easy A, Frank Gochina, Blue, 
the blue boy, uh, blue boy, oh my boy, blue Gogeta, blue Vegeta. Um, again, I was going over to March 17th, almost insane day and stuff. So again, got a lot of time to do this stuff, of course, like I said, almost half a month. Then after that, you know, Global's came off into insane day, as soon as JP is, so yeah. Um, yeah, though, um, there's a lot to do in here. Recent, um, Hijack's Awakening was Bojack coming up. Maybe that explosive chain battle, I just want to kind of prepare for it early because I am getting it for Global. I remember I came out for Bojack, and again, JP goes, gets in one go, Global kind of waits off a little bit. I guess, you know, we have the this crying going on, and they're not going to do like one after that. They're going to try to do it every month again. So after this, we'll probably be like part two, whatever, or all gone coming back, and this hack, this explosive chain battle, whatever's here. Hope you guys learned though, again though. Peace out.